Humans have been extracting value from the earth since as long as humans have been here. And we will continue to do that as long as humanity is around. So I began my 42 year career in explosives in South Africa in R&D. And during that time I worked on explosive rock interaction, blast modeling, fragmentation modeling, understanding non-ideal detonation. And so when I eventually got out of research 16 years later, I came into customer facing positions with a pretty good understanding of what made for successful blasting. So there's nothing more exciting for me than getting to understand a customer's problems and using technology to help them solve those problems. No, for me it was a huge accident. I qualified with a PhD in chemistry in South Africa at a time when I was overqualified. And I was on my 14th rejection letter when I got accepted by AECI for a job in explosives research. And it was the furthest thing from my mind to be in explosives at all. Research was okay. Anyway, that started a love affair for me with explosives because it's multidisciplinary, because it's fascinating, it's full of challenges. It's an, it's an area of science and engineering that has developed significantly uh, during my time in the industry. We've gone from dynamites to water-based explosives. We've gone from safety fuse to electronic detonators. So I got involved with electronic detonators via Unitronic with uh, Sasol and later Icon and EDEV with Orica. With both Sasol and Orica, I was part of dedicated, successful teams. I'm not a one-man band. Of course, in the early days of electronic detonators, there were problems of, of application as well as product. My role in the companies at that time was in part at least to communicate those problems and the causes of them and the solutions to them to customers. I suppose looking back, one of the highlights of my career is me standing with the president of Orica USA, the mayor of Brownsburg and the manager of the plant cutting the ribbon to open a $50 million electronic detonator manufacturing facility that I was partly instrumental in initiating. I live in Salt Lake City nearby two of my kids and two of my grandkids and we have spent a lot of time with them so I'm very much a family man. I'm a woodworker, a wood turner and I hope one day to call myself a cabinet maker. It was a lucky accident for me, but it's resulted in a fairly successful career and a dozen patents and, you know, happy retirement. <laughs>